Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I have some disclaimers. First thing is first, I'm sick again as you can probably hear but I've gotten better so I am deciding to film it today. Um, but if my voice sounds nasally or annoying or whatever, that is why, okay? Um, also, I've just, literally just fake tanned. Like, I'm still sticky, bitch. Look at my elbow. I have just fake tanned. So, um, ignore the fact that I look crazy. And throughout this video, I'm probably just going to get crazier looking and crazy looking. I also am filming standing up. Partially because I just fake tanned. I don't want to sit and feel sticky. I just think that's disgusting. <laughs> and so we're standing today and you're gonna see me being expressive because I really I love being expressive when I talk I'm one of those people that's like when I talk and I don't know if that's just like Eastern European thing I really find that a lot of Eastern Europeans are very expressive like with their hand gestures when they're speaking like why are you all up in my face so that's kind of me um sorry <laughs> today we are gonna talk about something that I feel like is kind of okay I don't think it's offensive personally but I think some people may take offense to this and if you do take offense to this I just want you to reflect on why that is because this is something that I've also actually had to be really honest, honest with myself about and you know what at the end of the day I grew from it and that's all that matters. That is all that matters. So we are going to talk about how to stop dating like a girl. You are a woman. Now, obviously, if you are literally a child watching this, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it because <laughs> this is for the young adults. Or even if you're like, I think, 18, honestly, you can probably start to learn these tips at least. And so you can kind of get an idea of what you should set your standards as as you're coming into your adulthood. So let's talk about the dating world. Everybody is more than ever, or maybe it's because we're seeing it more than ever, complaining about the other sex, talking about men ain't shit, women ain't shit, no one's shit. <laughs> and honest to God, this is kind of what sparked the idea because I was like, I think it's just so crazy how everyone complains and I actually have a full video on why your relationships suck if you want like even more in depth um but yeah everyone complains yet they act like they ain't shit too themselves you know what I mean and so it's like this cycle because they have the mentality of like well if that person's gonna treat me like shit I'm gonna treat everyone like shit too like it doesn't matter everyone sucks so I'm gonna suck too and like that really sucks man that is so upsetting to see that so many people are giving up that easily like you cannot compromise who you are or your integrity just because the world around you seems to be acting crazy because at the end of the day you only attract what you are in vibrational frequency with so you know i don't want to be the bearer of bad news but there's a reason those types of people are attracted to you um but anyway, I don't want to get too much into that. I have a whole separate video about that, okay? I want to talk about how us as girls and women, and honestly, this can apply to anybody. I'm just speaking from my own experience. I think when you're 16, 17, 18, and you jump into adulthood, and before you know it, you're like 22, like me. And as you're growing and aging, your maturity level isn't, for a lot of people, you're doing the same thing, still going out with the same friends, maybe different ones, you know, since high school and you're still doing the same bullshit and maybe you have a job now, but mentally up here, you may still be going for people that are even younger or people that may still be the same age as you, but up here, they're still stuck in their 17, 18 year old ways, which I get some people mature way slower than others and some people mature really quickly. This isn't even about that, but this is about if you want a serious relationship, you want to be treated with respect, you can't keep going for those types of people. You can't keep going for young boys. You can't keep going for people who are all in their party phase because they still have a lot of growing up to do. And this this applies to if you're dating older too, because I know many in their 30s be doing all that bullshit too. This is just about the energy that person's giving, right? If they're still in their party phase energy, if they're still in their... I don't give a fuck energy like I'm young and I want to party like that's fine but like 
don't expect those type of people to take you seriously because they're not going to. They don't, they don't take themselves seriously. If a person doesn't take themselves seriously or doesn't love themselves, accept themselves, they won't accept and love you. And you know what? We all need to have those relationships that aren't super deep and you know that they're not going to be the one because those relationships honestly teach you a lot and they are just as valuable. You learn a lot in a relationship, right? Like you learn all about yourself, the other person, people in general. You learn so many damn skills in a relationship and just so much about you. And I think those relationships are valuable too. But what I do also think is that if you want to be treated like a woman, not like a girl in a relationship, which means actually being taken out to nice dates, actually receiving flowers, having mature conversations with your partner, even if you know you guys aren't super serious yet, you know, he's doing all the right things. He's showing you that he is giving you the time of day, that he cares about you. You know, if he wanted to, he would he be doing all of that. Someone you're not ashamed to bring home. That's a big one, isn't it? (laughs) Someone that you can actually confide in, you can talk to about anything. And someone that you don't have to go to your friends and be like, oh my God, girl, guess what he's done this time. Those relationships are for teenagers. And some teenagers be having great relationships that end up you know, forever. But you guys know exactly what I mean. High school relationships versus growing up relationships usually are very different. Or we want them to be, I should say. We want them to be. Because this is my point. Sometimes the high school mentality sticks and people get in relationships that are exactly like a high school relationship, except you're 28. And if that's what you want, girl, go off. But this is not what this video is about. If you don't want to be treated like a girl... Don't do things that 16, 17 year old you would do in relationships. So let's dive into that. 16, 17 year old me didn't really set boundaries. I would kind of accept crumbs and a lot of young girls do. Um, Even 18, 19, you know, sometimes 20. We accept the bare minimum and we praise that man because the bar is literally in hell. The bar is literally in hell. And as you grow up and you realize that, what the fuck I can give that shit to myself and more you realize you don't need him you realize you don't need him because when someone literally does the bare minimum to keep you around it literally means that you're just not worth it enough for them and this is the harsh truth that I wish I was told in a lot of fucking relationships um now just a disclaimer I am in a committed relationship and we're definitely none of these examples so i will not be talking about my current boyfriend at all because literally he's the best human being ever so um this is not about him at all okay and honestly manifesting i can make a video about manifesting him because i have a lot of tips but also because like what really changed between the time i was 17 and the time i was like 21 and i manifested him is my attitude towards myself so you know what that goes to show that when you know your worth, when you know yourself, you will attract people and relationships that serve you rather than ones that are just about lessons. And honestly, even in a relationship that is healthy, you're still going to have to work on it a lot and you're still going to learn a lot, but it's not going to be anywhere near as painful and as disrespectful and, <laughs> and as toxic, to be honest. Not toxic. It shouldn't be toxic at all. But when we settle for crumbs as young teens we tend to overlook the red flags because we're like well we're young that person's hot our hormones are all over the place and we just want to fuck and we don't even care about what this person is actually presenting to us because we created a version of them in our heads that we are in love with and we are expecting every day for him or her to show up as that version that we fabricated because (laughs) that version is not even them That's an expectation that you have of them. They're they're never going to meet. They've shown you who they are. And the thing is, people do this to partners that are, you know, with them for five, six, seven years. And then they realize that the seventh year and they're like, shit, like, wow, you haven't been who I thought you were from like month one. Like you've, you've really shown me your true colors, but I was so blinded that I only noticed they years down the line. We can't place those kind of expectations on people. You have to assume that 
they're not going to change because a lot of the time they don't because they don't want to people won't change if they don't want to and everyone tries to change their bad boy boyfriend when they're 16 and 17 and what happens you end up getting hurt because he doesn't care he doesn't want to sure he could be going through his own shit and blah 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 and there's always reasons why people are the way they are but I am not going into that right now I am only going to be speaking from the other perspective which is you can see how someone is treating you and you don't like it and it's not always so easy to leave but what I want to focus on is how do we not get into those relationships that are not good for us in the first place which is why I even started talking about you know how to not date like a girl and date like a woman this does not mean that women don't go through these type of relationships of course there's lessons to always be learned and everyone's life purpose is different everyone's life mission is different you know the things you go through shape who you are blah 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 blah. if you want to attract those type of men that treat you like a woman and not like a little high school girl that they can manipulate and they can tell whatever to and she'll believe it then it is time to look at yourself i know a lot of people who are just honestly mature emotionally very mature and that's fine if that's what you want it's honestly fine that's just a simple fact i don't personally think i'm that emotionally mature yet i think i've matured a lot but i think i have a lot to learn and that in itself is an awareness that a lot of high school girls don't have and so you know they just get in relationships that are showing them a glimpse of what it is that they've wanted because a lot of them do dream about having like this hot boyfriend that's doing all these things for them but then when they actually get into the relationship they get so attached to the idea of that person and maybe that person because you know lust and they accept the crumbs and they don't even think about what it is they really truly wanted because a lot of young teens as well like they they don't know who they are they're growing they're learning and that's honestly what high school is about like partially partially obviously relationships in high school but as a woman you've grown you've matured you still are but you can't be dating from the same mindset that you were dating in high school because everything is different now I think that jump is so the transition is so quick you don't even realize it like we a lot of us are like in our 20s late 20s even 30s and we still feel like we just finished high school like we were 17 18 like a year ago like I still feel like I was 18 like last year I'm like huh I'm turning 23 what the fuck (laughs) like we're in denial for real for real and so with that We don't even think twice about the men we're dating because we're just attracting the same type of people in that immature mindset. So when I say it's time to look at yourself, it is really time to find out and figure out what it is you actually want from a relationship. Why do you want a relationship? Is it really a good time in your life right now to have a relationship? Are you mentally stable enough, healthy enough to have a healthy relationship? And if the answer is no, that's completely fine. It just means it's time to work on that. Okay, it is not always the season of relationships. It is not something you should always seek after. And I think society these days really makes it seem like you need to have a partner, a house and a career by 25. There's so many young, successful people these days. And you're like, I'm literally nowhere near that. I am blessed to have my life partner. But with that being said, it took a lot of relationships and a lot of work, even with this relationship to make this happen and I did have to go through those phases when I was just single and working on myself to figure out what do I actually want what kind of partner do I really want and can I show up as the best version of myself for my partner and some days weeks months the answer was no so I had to just put that on hold and just keep doing me and guess what when I did that a few months later I actually met him Because that's what happens. When you're not constantly seeking something out of desperation and lack, it comes to you. When you align with it already, it will come to you. And me doing me and showing up as the best version of myself for me brought him in because that's what I would be doing every single day when I would be in a committed relationship. And it is. It is. But the biggest thing is that I stopped settling for crumbs. I deleted all my dating apps. All of them, girl, get them gone. Get them gone. You are not going to find your soulmate on Tinder, okay? If you are part of the 1% that genuinely did, that's you, girl. But for most <laughs> for most people, that ain't going to happen. 
that ain't gonna happen. I started doing things for me. I started taking the gym pretty seriously, to be honest, and just working on my goals, working on making money. <laughs> making money, girl. <laughs> um, started to really get into my spirituality, like, bitch, I was and still am reading all them self-development books and applying that shit. Honestly, just focusing on giving myself the love that I didn't during high school because I was really mean to myself when I was 16, 17, even 18. And I was so desperate and chasing boys that I kind of lost track of who I was in the process and what I actually really wanted out of life because all I felt like I wanted was a committed relation. I remember there were some points in my life when I'd be crying on the bathroom floor like I don't even care about anything else. I just want to feel loved by someone like can you imagine and I know some of you are probably relating to that. I want you to understand that. All of that is coming from a lack of self-love and acceptance. And I'm telling you right now that until you give that to yourself, even in the littlest, smallest ways, you will not be happy. Happiness does not come from experiences. I need you to really understand that. You may feel happy in the moment because you've received a big gift or because you, you know, all the superficial shit. But real happiness genuinely comes from within when you can feel the gratitude and the love that is everywhere and all around you and in, most importantly within you then you can really appreciate every moment for what it truly is and every person in your life but until then you will never truly be satisfied and everything is going to feel not good enough because you don't feel adequate a lot of young women as well are very and men too but i'm talking about women here okay very distracted with you know the the boys and the partying and stuff and woohoo hookup culture and that's because they're using it as a distraction from what they're really going through from actually finding out who they are what they want when you feel lost in life you use distractions you don't want to face it you don't want to face your fears you don't want to face what you've been doing so you go out every weekend you drink you participate in hookup culture you find boys not men and sometimes you date them and then you end up in this toxic, crazy ass relationship and you're like, how did I get here? I got here because you lived life on autopilot and you weren't consciously making choices. I'm not saying this is a necessarily bad thing. I'm just saying a lot of us let the unconscious drive us. We're not fully present and fully aware in every moment. And so things seem like they're happening to us. It is us. It's always us. You're always in the driver's seat. However, sometimes... Your consciousness takes the back seat and the autopilot, the conditioning, the whatever everyone else is doing, the unconscious in you becomes the driver. So because you're not even aware of that, a lot of the time you can't even make the conscious decision that you want to change because there's nothing to change in your eyes. You think life is just unfair to you and it's happening to you. You think there's no way out. You, you're waiting and praying for an opportunity for, for a man to save you, for a boy to save you, for a relationship, for a job, for whatever. When you're the only one that can truly save you. It's not going to be a relationship. It's not going to be a career. Because even if you're happy for a year, two or three, eventually that feeling is going to come back that you've been trying to drown out. If you're truly unaware of you and you don't know yourself and you're not in alignment with who you are and you don't have to be in alignment 24-7, but having a slight idea at least, you'll always feel depressed. You will always feel depressed. And then what do you do? You go out and drink. What does that do? Make you more depressed. Hookup culture makes you more depressed, makes you more pissed off about boys. <laughs> and you find friends who are doing the same things. You find party friends that feel the same way and you guys are all complaining and bitching together about how much men suck, about how much this sucks and that sucks and you give yourself all these labels. You make up all these stories about yourself. You tell yourself these stories for years on end and you attract these situations and people who are constantly not the right fit for you and something always feels off and you're just always upset deep down and it, it, it just doesn't feel like it's good enough for you because it's not because you deserve whatever it is you truly want because you deserve to give yourself that love you deserve to take the time out and find what it is you want find who you want to be so if you don't want to be treated like a girl act like a woman a confident woman one who knows what it is she wants and again 
You don't have to have your whole life figured out. Most people don't. Start that journey so at least you you know what your boundaries are and you can set them in this in these relationships so you stop accepting the bare minimum so you don't accept crumbs from these boys. So you start dating men who want to do these things for you, who want to spoil you with love, maybe with actual gifts. A man who loves you does not give a fuck about spending money on you. When a man loves a woman, he will do fucking anything for her. I honestly don't fucking care what you guys want to believe, but I have seen this in my own life with my current partner. And it's not that he's rich, it's that he wants to give because he actually loves me. I've dated people that are wealthy. I got nothing. It is not. It is not about how much money he has, what car he drives, where he lives. It's about what he's willing to do for you. Because when you set those boundaries and when you assert yourself as a woman and this is your value and you don't just accept any guy who will give you the attention and the time of day and you know exactly what it is you want out of a man because you know what you bring to the table, that is when you'll attract the right partner for you. That is when you'll repel all of these fuckboys. You'll repel all of these boys that just want to waste your time. All of these boys who are immature and haven't grown up yet. That is when you'll literally make them mad. You will repel them so much to the point where they'll be pissed off about your existence. That's when you know you're in alignment with the woman you want to be. And now you're attracting the men. Men who are successful, who know who they are, who can provide for you emotionally, maybe financially, whatever it is you want, dude. Men who are willing to give their time, their affection, their love, because you are also willing to give your time, your affection, your love, because you are vibrating at the same frequency, because now you've aligned and you literally can no longer attract boys who just want to pick you up for a Macca's drive, fuck you in their car and bring you back home and then ghost you. You can no longer participate in hookup culture because it is not on your vibrational frequency anymore. It just, it just is not in your vibrational frequency anymore. So it really does come down to asserting your own self, asserting your value, knowing your boundaries and asserting them. And I, I am not telling you to be like a superficial bitch and be like, if you don't have like a million fucking dollars, I don't want to talk to you. But I am telling you that right now, if someone has given you the red flags, has given you the reasons to not trust them. And, you know, maybe you're in the talking phase and you guys are talking and he's saying some shit that you're like, "Mm, I don't know about that. I don't like that. That's giving red flag. And maybe he's taking you on a date and it wasn't what you expected. You don't have to be rude about it. Just stop talking to him. It's not that deep. You'll find someone who matches you better. It's simply not a match. It doesn't have to be this dramatic, explosive argument. And you're a shit person and you ain't shit and you do this and you do that. It can simply just be, hey, I don't think this will work out. Thank you so much for your time. That's it. Oh my God, it is so simple. You guys do not have to make a dramatic fight out of everything. If you want to be treated like a woman, learn to act like one. We can no longer be little girls who fight and argue and go crazy over nothing all the time. I know I used to do that and then I grew up and I was like, that doesn't serve me. At the end of the day, it really doesn't serve me. It makes me angry. It makes me feel like shit. And I'm constantly wanting more of that toxicity. And I realize that. I realize that's why I went from those people. Because it's literally like a drug. When someone is giving you nothing and they're toxic to you and they give you a bit of love, you cling onto it. You're like, it's literally like a drug. And I realized how how bad that was for me. And I was like, no, I don't want to be that girl anymore. I want to grow up into that woman. I want to be that woman that only attracts what's right for her, that doesn't get fucked over by these boys. I had to assert my value. I had to know my value first. I had to know myself. I had to know what I wanted. Okay, this is what I mean. You don't have to know everything about yourself, but at least know your worth. Know what it is you want and don't settle for less. Exactly that vision and nothing less. And I promise you, if somebody comes into your life and they have eight out of the 10 things you want, wait. Because there's gonna be another person that has 10 out of 10, I promise. Okay, I've made that mistake heaps of times, girl. Don't put pressure onto the other person to be this man you want him to be because he just isn't, okay? Go do you. 
be you know you and then that guy will come into your life that perfect man will come bro he will come life is meant to be fun and easy we're making it way too complicated stop chasing boys like you used to when you were 16 no more blocking and unblocking people oh my god checking his snap score shit like that if he's actually giving you a reason not to trust him and making you go crazy and stuff maybe one he ain't the one for you or two it's not time for you to date. It's not time for you to date. You need to heal. You need to take some time out. It is not the season for dating. It just isn't. And that's actually fine. You don't always need a person by your side. Being in your power means that you're absolutely able to be by yourself, single, happy, living your best life. And a lot of women are. Okay, no more high school behavior. If you don't want to be treated like a girl, if you want a proper relationship, date like a woman. Don't date like a girl. Make sure you let your partner know what it is you want communicate clearly they can't read your mind none of this i'm blocking you because you didn't do x y and z that i expected of you but you also didn't tell him now i'm not telling you to tell him to oh my god take me out on a date you haven't taken me on a date in ages oh my god why don't you buy me flowers blah 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 blah, blah. because like yeah that's just bare minimum shit to be honest like probably find someone else because he just isn't the one for you simple as that but when it comes to overall communication skills a lot of us don't know how or, or just don't communicate our needs to our partners and we get upset at little things that honestly could have been solved so easily it just takes a conversation sometimes if you're dating someone at the start and you're asserting your boundaries and you know your worth they're gonna feel that and either run away it is what it is he wasn't for you or actually meet your standard because you're not dropping it and he's happy to do it he's like yeah well i think you're worth it i really want this relationship to work because I want it just as bad as you do and I'm willing to put into work and you will be willing to put into work too because all relationships require work okay so that is all I have for you guys today that was a long video but in short stop dating like a girl if you want to be treated like a woman and thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video bye